Hello and welcome back to Football Daily for another episode of Transfer Talk. With the end of the summer window quickly approaching, there are plenty of stories to dig into. With that in mind, let's get straight into it. We start today's show with Tottenham Hotspur who have had quite a busy summer and it doesn't look like it's over yet, with Football London suggesting that the North Londoners are weighing up a potential move for Leeds United's Dan James. The Welsh international moved to Elland Road last summer from Manchester United for £25 million after just two years at Old Trafford. However, it looks like he could be on the move again, with Antonio Conte looking to plug potential gaps in his squad. Brian Hill is still expected to depart from Spurs this summer on loan, with the Spaniard looking to return to La Liga with Valencia, the same club he spent last season at. Both Tottenham and Los Che have agreed to the loan, according to AS. However, he will not join the Spanish outfit until Conte has secured his replacement. Nicolo Zaniolo had been the Lily White's ideal targets for most of the summer. However, the club has decided against the move after Roma increased their asking price for the player, which has seen them turn their attention to James as an alternative choice. But the North London club are yet to make a formal offer for the player, with other potential targets still being considered according to the source, which includes the likes of Anthony Gordon and Adamo Traore. While the prospect of playing for a Champions League side could be tempting for James, the move seems a difficult one to make, given that he's getting regular football at Elland Road, something he probably wouldn't get under Conte. With seven signings already through the door, it will be interesting to see if Spurs can add an eighth before the end of the window. Moving to Vicarage Road now, as according to Sky Sports News, we could see a bidding war take place for Watford forward Joao Pedro, with two Premier League sides battling it out for the player. Newcastle had been progressing in talks over the Hornets forward in recent weeks, having seen their initial offer of £17.5 million rejected before returning with another bid that is reportedly around the £30 million mark with potential add-ons included. The two sides are still in discussions over the structure of the deal as well as the add-ons that have been suggested. However, things could get complicated with Everton said to now be alert to the situation, with interest from the Toffees potentially leading to a possible bid. Watford are currently not feeling any pressure to sell their player, especially given the fact they have already lost some key men already and the fact that Pedro still has three years remaining on his deal with the club. The Brazilian has impressed in the opening weeks of the championship this season, making four appearances so far and is seemingly content to remain with Watford, having not made any active attempts to try and force through a return to the Premier League. Talks between the Hornets and the Magpies were progressing positively despite no offer being accepted, with Watford perhaps waiting to see if Everton would match or better what Newcastle have offered. And the Toffees may now be confident of having a free run at the forward. Stay till the end to find out why. But with little time remaining in the summer window, they have a race against it's time to get this deal over the line either way. It will be interesting to see whether or not Pedro will be returning to the Premier League this season. Over to Man United, as according to Fabrizio Romano, they could be set to see Eric Bailly leave the club this week on a loan deal to French outfit Marseille. The Ivory Coast international has seen his position in the Old Trafford pecking order slide further downward this season, Bailly now seemingly the fifth choice option at the club following the purchase of Lissandro Martinez from Ajax. Signed in 2016, the former VRL man has struggled with injuries throughout his time in the Premier League, and his career has stagnated at the club as a result, with new coach Eric Ten Hag choosing not to rely on him so far this season. Since his debut campaign, when he made a respectable 25 appearances in the Premier League, the defender has never made more than 13 in any season since. So it seems a loan is a great opportunity for Bai to resurrect his faltering career. Marseille is said to have agreed a season-long deal with an obligation to Bai should the club qualify for the Champions League and the defender make a certain number of appearances. Bai is expected to fly to France this week in order to undergo his medical with the club, ahead of officially finalising the move. While his United career certainly didn't live up to expectations, could Marseille prove to be the move he needs to kickstart his career again? Let us know in the comments below. Now to Nottingham Forest, who have been strongly linked with a loan move for Tottenham Hotspur fullback Sergio Regalon, according to a report from The Athletic's David Ornstein. The Spanish international appears to be firmly out of favour with Antonio Conte, who left him out of pre-season preparations and has not utilised him since the start of the season, with both Ryan Sessegnon and Ivan Perisic both being preferred choices for the Spurs boss. With his future in North London in doubt, Nottingham Forest have seemingly offered the former Real Madrid man a lifeline, having registered their interest in taking him on loan for the season, something which Tottenham seem open to discussing. But according to the report, Spurs will only sanction the move if Forrest are willing to pay the salary of Regalon in full, which is currently said to be £53,000 a week, a figure which would make him the third highest earner in the squad behind new recruits Dean Henderson and Jesse Lingard. Having only joined Spurs two years ago, it seems his time at the club may be up for now, with Lazio also said to be interested in the Spaniard. To keep up to date with this story and others, scan the QR code on screen to head over to Sky Sports Transfer Centre. It's fair to say that this transfer window has been a busy one for Chelsea, with a number of incoming 
incomings and outgoings, as well as being consistently linked with a whole host of players. And a report from the Times has linked them with one of Europe's hottest young forwards. According to the English outlet, the Blues have held discussions with AC Milan over a potential move for Rafael Leao, as Thomas Tuchel looks to strengthen his attacking options. The Portugal international is one of the brightest young players in Europe, having played a key role in Milan's Serie A title win last season, scoring 11 goals and chipping in with a further 10 assists. With his contract set to expire in 2024, the player and club have been in discussions about a potential renewal. However, they are yet to find an agreement that suits both parties. While Milan boss Stefano Pioli has openly said he is not nervous about Leao's future, it is worth noting that the player does have a release clause in his contract that could be triggered. The release fee is said to be 150 million euros, which at this stage of the window is a significant sum to spend. However, as discussions over his future continue to rumble on, could the Rosaneri see their star man leave? It seems like a a complicated move at this point, but with little time remaining, can you see Chelsea splashing the cash for such a star? Let us know down below. Next up, and it's bad news for Liverpool fans, as Jurgen Klopp has hinted that their summer business could already be over. It is no secret that the Reds are currently struggling with their squad depth, with a number of first-team players out, and particularly in midfield, where their bench is looking weaker than ever, as they continue to fall to results-wise, having not picked up a single win in the Premier League. Reds fans have been clamouring for a midfielder, but judging by Klopp's comments after the defeat to Man United, it looks doubtful they will get anyone in. With the coach saying, we are not in charge of what we spend, that is the situation. Situation. We get told things and we have to accept it. While players will return to fitness eventually, it could be concerning to supporters that the manager is in need of more and seemingly isn't getting it. With the likes of Thiago, Henderson and Milner all over 30 and others like Naby Keita failing to find form and fitness, Fabio Carvalho and Harvey Elliott are already being relied upon more than expected. But what do you think at home? Who do Liverpool need to sign? Make sure to let us know with a comment. We finish with breaking news involving Newcastle who have been hunting for a striker all summer and finally look to have landed one that fits the profile Eddie Howe has been targeting. And that man is none other than Real Sociedad forward Alexander Isak. But it isn't going to be cheap. Reports first emerged in Mundo Deportivo of the two clubs agreeing a deal in the region of 70 million euros, with other Spanish reports claiming it could climb to 75 million with add-ons. David Ornstein has subsequently reported the same news that the 22-year-old will become the club's record signing should he pass a medical. And with Isak coming in, the Magpies may now call their interest in the aforementioned Watford striker Joao Pedro. Eddie Howe will likely see this as a huge coup despite the fee, given Isaac's burgeoning reputation across Europe. But what do you reckon? Have Newcastle overpaid or is he worth the money? Let us know in the comments. So that's all we have time for on this week's transfer talk, but which of these moves can you see happening before deadline day and which club do you think have won the transfer window? Let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to reply. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and why not click on screen right now for more great FD content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.